So before we go into reviewing this product, we need to go into how to actually operate it. And it's incredibly simple. There are three main controls on this. You have the switch that switches between music mode and power mode. This amplitude switch that'll change the on time of each pulse. So that'll make the sparks bigger and louder. And then you have the frequency knob, which adjusts how many pulses explode out of the coil at once. Now let's mess around with it on power mode. All right, now let's turn the switch on to the surge protector. We are officially turned on. Now, you see that switch right there? You wanna switch it on. And then sparks start coming out. Now this first knob right here, it's gonna turn up the power. And then the second knob right there, is gonna change the frequency. Now time for my favorite mode, music mode. This is a really fun mode, but you're gonna to wanna to have some earplugs to protect your hearing. You don't even have to put them in right, just put them in good enough to where they won't fall out, and it muffles it enough to the point where you can enjoy a musical Tesla coil for hours. Except I don't think the musical Tesla coil could take that. So don't do that to your musical Tesla coil. Be overprotective of your musical Tesla coil like I am. Now for those of you that are new to the musical Tesla coiling world, this musical Tesla coil can't just play any music. It has to play square wave music, which means it kind of sounds 8-bit. But for musical Tesla coils, you only want three notes at maximum playing at the same time if you're using a single one. Because anything above that will kind of sound like crap. Now I put all my Square Away files on my Gab phone, which believe it or not is actually better than Spotify or Google Play and all that. Because once you've got a Gab phone, all you gotta do is shoot your Square Wave files from your computer to your phone, and you can listen to that music without any ads or internet trouble, because it does not require internet connection to play music, just Bluetooth connection. Now you're going to want to go to Bluetooth, of course, and pair the device XFW-M18. That is your musical Tesla coil Bluetooth name. I'll leave the Bluetooth name in the description down below. So now we are officially active. Now turn your phone up on full volume and start playing your square wave file. You gotta turn the amplitude knob all the way up before you start playing music. See, this would really hurt if I didn't have my earplugs in. This is really soprano and loud. Alright, enough messing around. We gotta start reviewing this thing pronto. So the first thing we're gonna test out is how safe this thing is. How safe it is for kids to access. And by the looks of it, not really. But don't be fooled. This is actually a lot safer than you think. Although, still kinda dangerous. First thing we're gonna do... I did not think that was gonna be on full amplitude. That was not what I was expecting. I forgot I had turned it all the way up. All right, as I was saying, what we're gonna do to test out the safety, touch the sparks. Looks like at full amplitude, it's pretty safe. Let's try full frequency now. All right, so pretty safe so far. On thinner layers of skin, like your knuckles, it's gonna hurt more. Here, watch this. It even kind of pinches on the lowest amplitude and frequency. Let's turn that up a bit. Yeah. 
frequency. There's a lot of funny smells when it comes to high voltage. But I'm still alive and well. So, really, you can't really consider this thing really dangerous. I mean, sure, it'll pinch you if you touch it with your knuckles. But if a three-year-old were to walk up to this and touch it, they'd go like, Ooh, shiny! And touch it like this with their, with their fingertip. And that doesn't really hurt. So all I'm saying is that this isn't really dangerous enough to kill a person. Or can it? We still have to test something on safety, if it's a fire hazard or not. I'm gonna try lighting one of my Gab Ambassador Pass Along cards that I have like 40 of them left and you printed like 50. It's not lighting. It's getting warm and melting. My homework from last night? Alright, so I had to try pretty hard, but I got some relatively thin paper, stuck it almost right on the breakout point when it was that full power, full frequency, and I got some burn marks right there. So, don't stick thin paper right next to the breakout point when you're actually firing the Tesla coil up at full power. Now I think it's time for me to do my signature move. Lick it. For science. Ah, tastes like ozone. Ah. Oh man. There is no way I'm licking that on music mode. Okay, so don't do that, but it's totally fine to touch it with your fingers on music mode. Now let's go to overall how entertaining this thing is. And as you have seen, it's really entertaining. I mean, the first song I played on this, I was dancing to Mario music. Mario music! And not only can it play 8-bit music, it could actually play videos of Tesla coils playing music, if it's good enough quality. All you gotta do is adjust the volume and then it's all good. So now we've talked about the first and second factors, now we need to talk about the third factor. How presentable it is. Even when it's not on, this thing is just a flat-out showpiece. I mean, it's got a nice golden pancake coil. I mean, golden! Have you ever seen a Tesla coil with a golden secondary coil? I mean, it's practically J from Plasma Channel quality. I mean, you could see this acrylic casing, which is actually the best, because the true beauty of an electronic device such as this one is to see what's inside of it. So overall, this is a really presentable Tesla coil. It's just a flat out showpiece meant to be on a stage for sure. But when it's not doing super cool things on a stage, it could be doing super cool things on your kitchen counter. This is incredibly easy to operate at home and a little bit more dangerous than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, is this not the coolest cheap musical Tesla coil of all time? It's not one of those garbage ones that only shoot like one eighth inch sparks at, at most. And they don't really even have their own unique Tesla coil sound. And it's even safe to touch for the most part. I mean, it's entirely safe to touch, but if you touch it on thinner skin or your tongue like I did, it's going to pinch you a little bit. Alright, we've viewed all three factors. I want to give one last thanks to 8-Bit Music Maker for providing me with a Jurassic Park theme file. And don't forget, the gab life is the good life. Stay tuned.